Okay, this question, you want to notice something. You want to notice some patterns here. Now I'm going to draw these triangles out. And as I draw them out, maybe you can see if you can pick up on that important pattern. You have two right triangles. One of them, you have a leg that is half the length of the hypotenuse. Therefore, we know we are dealing with a 30, 60, and a triangle. And this is very important to know because you can just use your x, x root 3, 2x form here. And that's going to make things a lot faster than using the Pythagorean theorem, which you could use given that it is a right triangle. However, Jerry is about speed, and that's what we're going for here. Notice an isosceles right triangle, therefore it's a 45, 45, 90, which has sides of x, x, and x root 2. If x is 4, then therefore y must be 4 root 2. And that's it. Because if I put those side by side, that is column A at 4 root 3 and column B at 4 root 2, you don't even have to do any of the math from here on. You know that root 3 is greater than root 2, 4 and 4 is the same, therefore answer choice A is greater.